All right, welcome to another day of Ether Raids. We are taking on another BRG, Susu here, uh, Susu, and uh, we're gonna have a very, very interesting match here. Uh, this is a really uh, well constructed defense. I really like this one. It's um, the pieces that he has here are really well put together. Uh, probably just missing out on uh, some trouble with isolation if that ever happens but uh, there are a couple of traps in here that would kind of avoid that and nowadays there's really just two units that have isolation and no one is really bringing Bridal Fjorm anywhere <laughs> most of the time because uh, um, that's really all that she offers although it is really really powerful um, but there would have to be another reason I mean the drive penalty neutralization in combat is also nice but I feel like we might get another uh, unit that offers um, isolation uh, in the coming months, probably. Um, who knows what banner it will be on. But I, uh, typically, right now, there's only Mila and Bridal Fjorm in the game that really provide that effect. Now, look at this Edelgard build, man. This is very um, interesting. I like it. Uh, the Special Spiral pretty much ensures that she kills uh, most of anything that she comes across in terms of melee combat, um, which means my crown won't be doing me very much good here. There's two AoEs, Mirror uh, with the uh, extra movement, and then we have Elliewood here providing the bonus double two for Mortis, and um, well, he provides it to Citrine, and Citrine passes that around. Uh, to pretty much everyone, which means that Dimitri will have his prime active, what do you do? Um, and uh, the AOE from Igrin will hit that much harder. So this again. is just um, a terrible, terrible uh, defense that they have here. It's so good, and I'm just not quite certain how to approach this aside from to. Uh, well, we're gonna have to either. The thing is, with hit and run, you want to hit the opponent's defense and then be able to back out but that edelgard looks like she'll kill pretty much anything that i would have thrown at her um, being what i have mm -hmm. currently which is the um crom here as well as uh i'm not sure if she would have survived or if uh ephraim would have survived the hit from her uh i don't know that's a big bonfire so why not that would have been out of the question. We wouldn't be able to, to hit and run this, I don't think. And plus the extra movement alongside the warping, plus the dance from Rabolus. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a good time. So not, not, not doing that. And then the only other option would have been to try to tank this with Lucia. But I'm thinking that uh, Dimitri would outspeed her. Um, and if she gets outsped, she dies. So... <laughs> Uh, yeah, not also a good idea. Um, and yeah, he would have had a uh, bonus doubler as well, Yours. plus the clash that's kind of in his weapon. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think that would have been enough speed that I could have given Lucia for her to avoid getting doubled here in this scenario. So this was the only other option. Uh, it's either that or eat some AoEs, and uh, I'm not looking to do that. Um, we would have been able to get the kill on Formortis here with Chez, but the trap placements are very good here. I really, really like that. Um, so we're going to have to wait until turn three, because if I go on turn two, Mirabilis will get that one extra movement, which means that she'll dance one of these range units, I'm assuming, uh, which isn't good. <laughs> So, yeah, we'll probably just uh, have to wait until th turn three to see uh, what happens here. Yep, see, there's a kill on Formortis, but can't do that right now. I've already used up pretty much all of my actions, and uh, as I said, uh, Krom is not killing that Brave Edelgard, so we're going to have to back out, set up for next turn, and then figure it out from there. Uh, I'll probably try to position so that Listen I can just break some extra stuff and uh, see how this pans out. This is a, again, I, I say this again, this is a very well thought out defense. I really, really like Leave it. it to me. Um, if I would change anything here, what would I change? Uh, I mean, it, it really does hinge on uh, Edelgard being able to survive, which is great. Um, 
and Citrine pass in the buffs. So I think probably the only thing that you want to change here is the the uh, the mythic the far save for Mortis because he can be easy to snipe uh, depending on who is brought. In terms of um, well, it probably wouldn't work if for Mortis wasn't bonus, which is where he's getting all the extra stats from. But I think this works pretty well regardless of what save that you could have brought Mer and it would work even better. <laughs> it would be even better. But then you'd have to change out one of the units for a different mythic from the season. So uh, score loss, lift loss there, it's that would have been tricky. But maybe a better dancer. Nah, probably upgrade the Mirabilis, I think. If Mirabilis here had like guidance, oh my god. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, if Mirabilis had guidance, that would be uh, yes. Yeah, that would be a, a big thing. Um, this is yeah. <laughs> I don't know. How, I, I I think I've said it. I like this defense. This is really good. Um, anyways, uh, what I'm going to do is, as I said, wait until next turn. Oh, Hanoka doesn't get that. That's not good. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. Let's let's go to the next turn. Mm, okay, so let's go to the next turn and see what happens here. This is the second turn. Uh, probably gonna have to cut it. Whoa. Ooh, okay. Oh, I didn't expect that, actually. Um, yeah, so she danced Edelgar, which means I can probably change my approach here. Um, boy, I'm gonna have to cut out so much of this because I'm actually uh, ha having to do so much... Uh, planning just to try to figure this out um hmm uh, she gets the extra movement okay so that means that she's definitely going to be able to dance either one of these range options which is bad so my original plan it seems might not work uh which was to try to take out from mortis but i don't think i'll be able to get far enough away because of mirabilis uh dancing and hmm yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get far enough away. Uh, I can't initiate from melee range because Brave Edelgard. Oh, hold up. Uh, okay, so she moved out of far save range. Okay, so that's an option. Uh, I can just take out the Dancer and then figure everything else out from there. That's actually not a bad idea. That actually works in my favor. Now that I think about it. So let's break this uh, structure, take out Mirabilis. Uh, that way I don't have to worry about a dancer. And then um, see what happens from there. Uh, yeah, I think that's the best play here. Uh, whoa, okay. Yes! Um, break this. And then this should be easy for Yunaka. Um, and then I get canceled to to be able to come back out of uh, enemy range. And then they should all just be in the middle rows right there um, to take out. Now, it's going to be challenging because it's going to come down to my range options. Uh, so let's see how this plans. I don't think I can do anything else here, can I? Uh, I can't reposition... Uh, Hanoka in because she'd be stuck. So yeah, I think this is pretty much it. Got it. Yeah, this is pretty much it. Alright, let's end turn, see what happens here. There's going to be some warping and uh, hopefully they're not all in save range. Let's see. Ah, uh, looks like she just walked over the fire, the flame terrain. Like it didn't even matter. Okay. What do we do? Oh, that's bad. Okay, that's real bad. His prime is active because of Citrine. Uh, Leave and he has me. bonus double on top of it. I missed the kill on from Mortis. <laughs> okay. Um, mm -hmm. what do I do here? What do we do? Uh, this is not good. This is even... I think I'm hitting the lethality. He just has way too much stats. Uh, Hinoka? Hinoka will get the sweep effect. 
what I'm looking at here, I have to kill Dimitri, Citrine, and Igrin to be able to make any progress here. And Hanoka is the only one that can initiate on Dimitri because he has sweep on green units. Uh, and if Hanoka initiates, I lose one of my range options. I'll have to use a dance because that's two attacks. Oh boy, hold on. Just a sec. Okay, let's go in with Hanoka and uh, see what happens from there. Uh, man, this Dimitri is so fast, even without the clash. Hmm. All right, so let's dance. Close your eyes. Oh, and the panic smoke as well, making it a little bit more challenging. <laughs> All right, so we can take out Dimitri now, and we can also take out Leave Formortis, but the problem is, uh, Hanoka has to take out Dimitri. All right, uh, we're gonna take out Dimitri with Hanoka. I have no other plan, so this has to happen, and then we can take out Formortis, and then we can work our way to see if we can do anything about Citrine and Igrin, who pretty much have to go. I can't let either of them survive because basically uh, the extra movement or the warping oh my god the, either the extra movement or the warping is gonna basically cause me to lose um, I only have two range options left Krom will die to Edelgard mm -hmm. I think we gotta do this um Okay. <laughs> All right. So, message received. Mm, what now? <laughs> okay. Um, uh, this is not looking good. I think I need an extra dance here. Uh, yeah, I think I need it. I think I lose. <laughs> I think I lose here. I don't have enough actions to take out a grin. And. Crown will die. I think I lose here. <laughs> oh wow, that is uh, wow, that's really really nice, man. Wow. All right, <laughs> all right. So I've taken a lot of time and I've thought it through, and we have lost. Um, yeah. There isn't anything else I can do at this point. Uh, even laying down the flame terrain here won't stop Igrin from killing one of my units uh, basically as you can see her movement isn't hin isn't inhibited by the flame terrain so she'll be able to hit all three of these units um, anyone she chooses and then Edelgard might even warp in just for extra misery oh, so uh, it's uh, just one extra one extra loss for the week this was a I'll really good defense man I have no complaints about losing this one this was uh really fun to play against uh hopefully i get to match up against it again it was really nice and uh yeah man this is uh i wonder where he finished with this um defensive build uh in terms of his rank um but yeah i'm completely out of options here uh, i can't even reach to see if crom does any better but i'm pretty sure he just gets one shot by uh by the uh, special spiral there it's such a good build to put special spiral on your armored units uh, oh, I, I was considering doing it with Zolgius, but I ended up not doing it, but yeah, um, Your wow. <laughs> um, yeah, man, not much else that I can do here. This is uh, utter defeat. Uh, I was thinking of maybe I should have gone with the first idea, but there's no way Shez would have taken out um, four Mortis once he had gotten the bonus doubler. So yeah, this is a full loss here. GG's, man. Uh, we're going to just play another one. Uh, let's load up a next match. Alright, so here's our second attempt of the day, and we're up against none other than Oblivion, and we're going to use the Marth team here um, to try to close this one out. Um, this is a really basic uh, cab line here. <laughs> um, 
but he often says that he just doesn't update his defense, which he probably should. This is pretty lazy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, there could be a lot more uh, depth to this defense here. Uh, Freer over there just stopping me from, I guess, uh, false start in the ploy effect, but that doesn't really matter. Um, uh, well, it kind of does because I did, did want to get the, uh, the, the effect from Marth, but it doesn't matter in the sense that uh, even if he should still be able to survive against most of these units here, um, I'd probably just bait differently um, because uh, I think Sanaki here has hardy bearing, so I'm gonna avoid hardy uh, Sanaki. And um, yeah, if if uh, I'm not able to get all of my, bu I think I want to break that panic manner as well, just for good measure. Um, I don't know if I'm okay with this lineup here. I might adjust it. Hmm. But in any case, um, we're going to pretty much just warp over the top to uh, above the fortress with Marth. And Marth will pretty much just do his thing. I false started uh, Shamir here. Even though I'm getting the null panic, I, I still went ahead and false started the discord effect. Uh, because, I mean, why not? <laughs> I, I have the option to, so might as well just do it. Um, but... Uh, Yes. Not really much to say on this one. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Just have Marth do all the heavy lifting and then get out of there safely. The only hindrance here is the ploy effect hitting the units that I need to have uh, blue buffs on. And I also need to move Elamine out of uh, Dual Shamir's range. So we got a safe spot here and a safe spot that we're going to put the Veil in. So we're going to go ahead and do that after I break the Panic Manor. So um, that's at least, well, full buffs from Ellie Wood, uh, some buffs from, uh, well, full buffs on Ellie Wood and Plumeria because I, uh, I set that up. So full buffs on Ellie Wood and Plumeria. And we just need enough stats from one other unit to be able to get the vantage effect off. And it's going to be either Veil or um, Ratatasker. Um, so we should be able to get the vantage off. And once we get the vantage off, we are Gucci. So this is 14, 44. We still would have lived the hits. But the problem was the fail smoke, which means we don't heal, which could have been bad for this combat. But also not Victory really, <laughs> because we still would have vantaged. Um, so yeah, from here we're good. Shamir dies as well. And we just got to figure out how to strike. get to uh, Duo Sanaki, uh, which is why I opened the lane on that left-hand side there, so that we would be able to reach her regardless of where she went. Um, and yeah, we're looking good here. This is pretty much done. Uh, last match of the week, so I don't need the pots. Um, Marth cleans everything else up here. Uh, I could even just let Marth finish this on this turn, but uh, okay. let's just... Leave this to me. I don't know, let's... I don't know, take a little time, I guess. There was something that I wanted to mention. Um, for defense this week, I think this is the first time in a long while that I haven't lost any lift. Not that I did lose matches on defense. I did lose, but they were all under lift loss control and um, no lift loss. So that's great. Um, I think I finished the highest that I have finished in a long while. Uh, 21, 21, 120, which is pretty much the maximum uh, lift that I can gain because of the Marth team. Uh, which is my highest score in team. I was pretty much able to use it on like all of the matchups here a this week. Uh, so we scored pretty well and also just not losing in the lift. Um, put it that high, but ultimately it doesn't matter. We still get the same rewards. It really just doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, Mythic Murders be gone. Uh, I do have the defense replays that I'm currently editing uh, so I can put that out later. And then um, I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> um, luckily, I've already built my defense for Dark Season, so I don't have to worry about that. That should be fun. I in you. Um, but yeah, close this has uh, been a pretty successful week. Uh, no complaints here. We're gonna close it out with uh, this match here against Oblivion, and um, should be GGs from here. I finished like I didn't. There's so few people in rank one of SDS. Um, I finished, even though I finished in Master C, which is kind of like my thing now, 
Um, I still finished within like the top 300. I finished 269, <laughs> which is crazy because a lot of my losses were against opponents that I... Well, two of my losses were against opponents that were better than me, and the other two were matches that I threw. So, could have done a lot better. Probably should uh, practice more, as I keep saying, but we'll get there one of these days, man. It's um, no rush. GG's. See you in the next one.